Travis Moen. Uh-huh. You play for the Anaheim Ducks, right? Yeah, thanks for the coffee. <laughs> cool. Oh, wait, you forgot your cup. Actually, I'm wearing it. You can never be too careful. Oh, <laughs> no, not that cup. The other cup. Oh, thanks. Wow, is that the Stanley Cup? Can I sit in it? No, people aren't allowed to sit in the cup. Ow. See, you can never be too careful. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, Brent. However, back in a couple hours. No problem. How come he gets to use your car? Because he brings it back. Oh, so now there are rules? More just common courtesies. Like not driving my car out of town. Or not running my car out of gas while you're out of town. Or not having my car towed by the police to somewhere even farther out of town. Well, like I'm the one who didn't put enough gas in it. Yeah, that's right. I should have thought of that before I let you take my car without asking. Fine. Can I borrow your car that time? No. See, that's why I don't ask. Sorry, we have no vacancies. You're better off. It's a dump. You come here and drink all the time. That's how I know it's a dump. Do you know of anywhere else to stay in town? Like a B&B? Nope, you're screwed. Just as well. He wanted 90 bucks for this place. Come to think of it. There is this B and G, but it's a hundred. I didn't see you at the silent auction yesterday. It was fun. I heard you were kind of cheap. Ah, oh, you know, just because you wrap something in cellophane does not make it worth $200. Remember, it's for charity? Yeah, I know what a silent auction is. I'm just saying, people are getting ripped off. I outbid everyone on the handyman for a day. How cheap can I be? Hey, Lacey, thanks for bidding on my uh, handyman thing last night. You bid on Hank? How much do you pay for that? Oh, what I paid is not important. It's for charity. Ten bucks. I didn't think it was going to go that high, but Lacey and I got into a bidding war. You bid on yourself? Yeah, well, I wanted some stuff done around my house, but in the end, I couldn't afford me. I'll swing by later. Yeah, sounds good. Wow. That's cheap. Hey, you'll never guess who I just ran into just now. You're right. I can't guess, and I'll never care to guess. My old buddy. He was just driving through town with his wife, and I said they could stay here with us. What buddy? My old buddy, Mr. Johnson and his wife. Mr. Johnson? Well, we don't call him that because he's a buddy. Buddy Johnson, we call him. I don't remember Buddy Johnson. You know, from camp. From like a long time ago, from childhood, from childhood camp. <laughs> buddy. From camp? Now you're getting it. <laughs> I don't want to alarm you, but someone cleaned your car. How do you know it wasn't me? I saw Davis cleaning it. Touche. Well, he borrowed it, so he cleaned it. He even filled the tank. Goody two shoes. I don't care if Goody's got five shoes. At least he doesn't leave a melted ice cream cone on my seat. I told my kid to leave it under the seat. He never listened. Why is Davis the only one who takes care of my car? It's a good car. I take care of your car. Remember the time I cleaned ice cream off the seat? Okay, I just want a few pictures up. Um, the first one, I want to go in the bathroom right here. Hey, yeah, girl's coming off, huh? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I want you to put the picture right here. You should get that fixed before water gets in and rots the drywall. You know how to do that? <laughs> sure, yeah. You're, you're not just going to smash the sink with a hammer or something. Why, your sink need hammering? No, forget I said that. <laughs> Look, if you can fix the grout or whatever that's called, that, that'd be great. And then I want you to put the picture right here. Yeah, you bet. Pass me a hammer. For the picture. Oh, yeah, and uh, your rear taillight was out, so I got you a new one. Oh, thanks. You know, some people borrow your car and never even think to replace the taillights. Some people own your car and never think to do that. Yeah, well, I know it's an inconvenience, and you're really helping me out. You bet, buddy. That's what friends are for. Get a room. Oh, I just pictured that. 
Okay, all done. Well, that was fast. <laughs> Taking them off's pretty easy. Now putting them on, that's where the real work starts. Okay. See you later. Well, aren't you gonna finish? You've only been here 20 minutes. 23, but that's all the time I have. Oh, what do you mean? Where are you going? Yeah, don't delve into your personal life. Oh, this fell out of your drawer. You, you said handyman for a day? That's like eight hours. Yeah, not in a row. By the way, you're out of cough medicine. Hey, there, Johnsons. <laughs> Welcome to our humble little commode. <laughs> this is Emma. Hi. <laughs> and what was your name again? Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's a great kidder. My name's not Oscar Leroy. Oscar, right. Oh, you look vaguely familiar. Oh, Steve gets that a lot. Steve? Oh, sure, Steve's his real name, but I call him Buddy for kicks. <laughs> well, we should show Steve and uh, her upstairs where they're sleeping. Oh, and when you get all settled in, come on down. We'll feed you some lunch. Is that included? Yeah. Bonus. <laughs> Hey, Brent, look behind you. Yeah, okay. You're going kind of slow. Well, it's the end of the day and no one's around. <laughs> we'll move over, Gramps, and make room for the living. Wh whose grandma is what? What's happening? Seems a little confused about the arrangements. Well, just between you and me, she has a little hobby. Anyway, 20 extra for lunch. But she said three beers in, she'll say anything. Quizzling! What's a quizzling? It's like a low life, greasy snitcho. Is a prefer quizzling? And what are you talking about? I'm talking about Davis using your car as a ghost car. Ghost car? Cool. Not cool. $80, not cool. My car did that? Can't believe you can be bought so easily. Fixed tail light here, car wash there. And boom, you're a two-faced rat fink. I preferred Quinzig, or whatever you said before. What are you doing? Tricking people, giving them tickets. You can't use Brent's car for that. You're just jealous. It's more about safety. Look at this bucket. Why do the seats smell like vanilla? <laughs> Believe me, it's worth it. When I'm in Brent's car, people completely ignore me. If you want that, just go to a party. In the ghost car? Now I'm ignoring you. See, it works. Well, hey, Lacey. I have 45 minutes to come free just so I can fix your fridge. Well, there is nothing wrong with it. The well, light's broke. So you took off the door? No. I came down to get a drink, and the door was loose, so I took it off, fixed the hinge, and then the door fell, broke the light. I, mean, I didn't know he had so much for me to do. You fixed the tiles, right? No, no, the fridge took up my whole time. I gotta go. I'll have a new hinge for you tomorrow. Well, that's just great, and thank you for eating all my food, because that'll keep it from going bad. Uh, I do what I can. Oh, by the way, I had a nice little chat with your mom. Oh, my mom called? No, I called her. The number was on the fridge. You know, she misses you. Oh, hi there. Care for a beer? Uh, no thanks. Oh, well, more for me. We just wanted to know what time breakfast was tomorrow. Oh, whenever we get up, I guess. That's a lot more laid back than most places, but, uh, okay. What do you mean, most places? Well, we've stayed at a lot of B&Bs. Mm -hmm. Oh, me too, but what's that got to do with any... Oh, my God. What did my husband tell you? A hundred dollars a night. Is it more? As much as I appreciate you polishing the tires and the new hubcaps, or enrolling the change in the ashtray, I don't want you using my car as a ghost car anymore. But your car did great work today. It's a hero. It's like a supercar. Don't try buttering me up by giving it a name. I'm not going to be part of your scheme. OK. But if you change your mind, let me know. By the way, your left speaker's cutting in and out. I could fix it for you. Aha! Da 
gonna lose him. You're not gonna outrun us, Speedy. Can you do the honors? With pleasure. The speakers sound great, by the way. Supercars never sounded so good. That Buddy Johnson sure has some crazy stories, huh? Oh, yeah. Real nut job. Like when he first met you at the hotel bar? Is that where we met? <laughs> so long ago, I can barely remember. I bet it seems like just yesterday. Yeah. Gotta go. How could you tell two complete strangers this was a B&B? &B? Was it so wrong of me to make $50 a night for us? It was when they paid twice that much. They told you 100 Not surprising. They both like to stop it. I can't believe you were stupid enough to try and pull a stunt like this. Oh, fine. I'll get rid of them. No, you'll make up the other room and get some more guests. A hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. So, how's it going with Hank? Oh, great. I am really getting my money's worth. All ten dollars. Oh, yeah. He is there all of the time. Hank! What? They can't work on an empty stomach? Tiles, now. Yep, he's done some amazing things with my house. My fridge, my tiles. Really? What if he could fix a sink? Oh, I know he could. And you know what? I'm gonna be kicking myself later, but I have a few extra hours left with him, and you know, if you wanted, you could... Oh, I'm gonna have to check out the work first. Oh, I wouldn't have it any other way. I'll come by tomorrow. Well, maybe not tomorrow. Okay, forget it. Okay, fine, tomorrow's fine. Even late, <laughs> it's best late. Well, time for another shift with supercar. Hello, Brent. You look handsome today. You're not overweight at all. You should have another dessert. Now snap out of it. Snap out of it? Why were you talking in a British accent? Never mind. I'm going for dessert. So 100 bucks a night includes AC and color TV. Or for the same price, you could stay at a cozy prairie getaway just down the road, home cooking, recent newspapers, electric fans. Well, that sounds quaint. I didn't know there was a B&B &B here. Neither did I. It's not just a B&B. &B. You get breakfast, too. <laughs> so, who'd we get today? Oh, supercar was hot today. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the characters I stopped. Hey, Travis Moan of the Anaheim Ducks. You know you were doing 16 and 50. Sorry, but I only get one day to show all my friends back home the cup. Maybe you give me two minutes in the penalty box? <laughs> Good one. Here's an $80 ticket. Well, I suppose I should get Supercar back to the Super Cave. Do you mean your grudge? Hey, don't give away the secret location. Pretty good, huh? It's not great, but uh, good for Hank. Oh, even people other than Hank. You know, some parts were very tricky. He was, he was telling me. It's quite neat, isn't it? Well, it's sad, really, but, uh, what the hell, it's free. I'll give him a shot. Yes. Why'd you say that so emphatically? Oh, I'm, I'm just so happy for Hank. You know, he worked very long and hard on this. Watch it, supercar coming through. Move over, Wanda, supercar. Here to do the honors? Let's roll. Woohoo! Chalk one up for the Wanda Wagon. Wanda Wagon? Wanda Rocket? Dollar Dragster? Ultra fast, crook catching, crime stopping. Oh, whatever, just pay the ticket, Hot Rod. Emma, that was delicious. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Oh, leave those. Oscar will get the dishes. Why me? Because you haven't earned your 50 bucks yet. Now, let's retire to the living room for some checkers. Or 
Maybe charades? Oh, oh, how delightful. Soap's under the sink. That's that metal thing that holds water. Oh, how delightful. I don't know what's wrong, but it's been leaking for days. Hmm. Well, there's your problem. It's not supposed to leak. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Can you fix it? Totally. Let me get my hammer. Well, it's no supercar. Oh, yeah? Twelve tickets yesterday. You wouldn't believe the riffraff we caught. You know I'm a Stanley Cup champ, right? Autograph this. That's beginner's luck. Supercar just had an off day. Oh, yeah. Well, Supercar's about to be blown away by the Viper Wagon. <laughs> the Viper Wagon. That's lame. Yeah, you might as well call it Supercar. I just wanted to thank you for Hank. He did a great job on my sink. Oh, good. <laughs> really? Yeah. No fires, no floods, new faucets working great. Wow. Neat. You seem surprised. Oh, no, I am. Um, I'm just surprised because you're so happy. <laughs> you know, because unlike me, you were, you were a little reluctant to use them, so. Yeah, I guess I was, but thanks to your recommendation, it all worked out. Wow. Neat. I'm just saying it's it's good to see it firsthand so I can tell Hank what a great job he did. Well, as you can see, he did a good job. Mm -hmm. It's neat. You missed a great game of Pictionary. Darn, that's my magazine. Oh, would you pass me that remote, please? Why? We're gonna watch TV. Yeah, so am I. Oh, well then, we can watch together. Tennis is on. Oh, goody. Tennis. You like tennis? Almost as much as charades. Hey, Davis, I thought we could take Supercar out and... What's going on? Look, we had some laughs, but it's time to move on. Everybody knows your car now. So you're using Fitzy's car? I prefer the term Fitzy-mobile. Well, well, well. Looks like Supercar isn't so super anymore. Looks like it's back to being the old Brent bus. The old Leroy loser. Ah. You said we were going to get new mud flaps. I said a lot of things. How come you did such a good job at Karen's? Oh, I guess I got on a roll fixing all that stuff at your place. You didn't fix anything at my place. Well, I'm not finished. I still got a couple hours left. Yeah, and I want you to come over and put up those pictures I asked you to do in the first place. Okay, Grouchy. And your mom was right about you. And you know your antenna? I'll get that fixed. But what about the Viper Wagon? You heard her, Pipsqueak. She's using my car. Okay, so the picture goes right here. Who fixed your tub? Me. I had to. You didn't have the time. So you reconnected all the pipes back there? There's pipes? Sorry, this is gonna take me the rest of your handyman time just to fix this. What about the shower? No, I just had one at Karen's. Besides, yours has gotta stay off till tomorrow. What the hell is this crap? Mrs. Watson's a vegetarian. I want meat. Not tonight. What the hell with this? Nut munchers, leaving their wet towels everywhere. I can't stand B&B &B people. They treat this place like a hotel. Thanks to you. Well, I'm kicking them out. Nobody uses my TV to watch tennis. These are our guests, paying guests. If anyone's leaving, it's you. We'll see about that. 150? Prices just went up, but there's a cozy B&B &B down the road. Thanks for the ride. Karen brought the Viper wagon back on empty and then she dumped me. I feel used and dirty. Who needs the cops anyway? I do. I don't have any gas till next payday. Sorry, but it looks like the old cop coop wins the day. <laughs> cop coop? What? That's a good name. Hey, I just need to crash for the night while Hank fixes my place. Sorry, we're full up. But you'll have to come back. It's a wonderful B&B. B&B? &B. It's nothing. They like to, you know. I didn't know 
know you were running a and b This is a registered b and b isn't it? Okay, well, see you, Lacey. Now that you mention it, it wasn't in the book. Oh, my God. We're just staying in someone's house. Well, it was good enough for you when you were paying a hundred bucks a night. Which we'll need back, since you lied to us. Oh. <laughs> well, does that mean there's room for me now? Hi, Oscar. Don't hog the bathroom, princess. Hey, where are you going with my dollar sign bag? I'm stealing it. Now get out of my way before you get hurt. Okay, all right. Take it easy. I don't want any... Hey -ya! Hey -ya! Watch out, Brent. There's another one behind you. I see that supercar. Maybe you could deafen him with a super horn honk. I'll try. Oh, and Wanda's trying to get you to snap out of it. Yeah, well, too bad for her. This is my daydream. I'll snap out of it when I want to. Want to have a gas online? Visit us at cornergas.com. It's Brent's 40th. Wow, <laughs> that is a great looking cake. How'd your slab cake turn out? And you can bet on cake. Are you entering a contest or something? Oh, pff. this is just a backup cake. Plus a few fireworks, too. Wait for it. Mom, have you seen a bottle of scotch in the basement? Oh, that. I threw it out. It was over 20 years old. It's supposed to be old. An all-new Corner Gas next Monday at 9.38.30 Central, following Dancing with the Stars on CTV.